after detailed analysis based on the judiciary recommendations with consultation to the competition rules and regulations as well as assessing the situations and circumstances present the PNG NRL board agreed on the following penalties to be handed down for the Mount Hagen Eagles the board uh, agreed that they will have a team suspension from taking part in a digital cup competition for the next three years. So for three years, we won't have any team representing Mount Hagen Eagles. In that, saying no team from Western Islands. The third prize money, which they came up with, is going to be forfeited. The official who instigated the brawl has been banned for life, while two Eagles players also face suspension that could see the end of their rugby league career. Uh, he was given a life ban from participating in any NRL sanctioned activities. Activities, this, this gentleman is banned. He is not to be seen at least 50 meters away from any playing venues. For Hagen Eagles, Francis Ray uh, was slept with a 10 years suspension, both as a player and as an official. So he was not partaking in any NRL sanctioned games. Uh, the number four and their team captain, Junior Rao, was suspended for another 10 years again as a player and official. This is for punching the uh, linesman Ben Kaupa. Civil charges have been laid against Stanley Akinu and Junior Rao and have now become a police matter. Details will be disclosed when PNG NRL know the outcome of the case. PNG NRL has also charged four Egma Gurias players for players' misconduct. They have been charged a fine of 5,000 kina each and a five-match suspension starting next season. Our players' code of conduct, it, it is a breach of our players' code of conduct against the spectators. For Gurias, Francis Paniu, number 10 for Gurias, Samuel Amari, number 14 for Gurias, Lucas Capinias, and number 16 for Gurias, Adrian Bagus. Players and team officials can always appeal against the decisions made. Elijah Lavette, National NTV News.